in this square. The, the battles, somewhat unexpectedly, at least for us, uh, continued through the night and were quite dramatic um, over the course of the last few hours. Um, there's one thing I want to show you here just for a moment before we go live to NBC's Andrea Mitchell. We have an interview that was just shot about an hour ago by Al Jazeera. It's an interview with a an anti-Mubarak, anti-government protester inside Tahrir Square. I th want to show this to you because I think it gives some important context to why we have seen these dramatic scenes of hand-to-hand -hand fighting and gunfire and firebombs tonight, what the protesters were doing there, uh, and how they saw it from their own perspective. It's a brief interview, but watch this. Why are you still there? Because we can't go. We've lost a lot of people and we've lost them for a cause. The cause is that we wanted Mubarak to be out. We can't just, we owe it to them to stick it to the end. We have many injured people. It would be very hard to move them. And we know, everyone in this square knows, if we decided to give in now, they will hunt us one by one. We've been through this. We know it. Can you tell us what happened? I know it's difficult um, and it's difficult to see, but can you confirm that live gunfire was shot into crowds of unarmed civilians? Yes, yes, yes. They are shooting. There are people, there are some of the thugs with uh, rifles on, on the bridge and they shot at the, our demonstrators. Every couple of minutes you find the ambulance coming, carrying wounded, and every now and then you find them carrying someone dead. People were just playing over one, like the latest of our dead protesters, he was shot right through the head. I had two friends watching this happen. I just don't understand what more does the world need to just kick Mubarak out of this country. An interview shot about one hour ago with an anti-government protester inside Tahrir Square in downtown Cairo.